Please subscribe to Anfield Home for regular updates of the Reds. Jurgen Klopp talked all things Darwin Nunez, Naby Keita, injuries, and even had time for a cheeky pop at an ex-player as he fronted the press ahead of the trip to Man United. Here are five key points from the manager as he looked ahead to Monday's game, ins and outs. There are a lot of outs, at least 10 players, in fact. But Roberto Firmino is to be in contention after training, normal, during the week, while the expectation is that Joe Gomez will start after similarly showing no issues. As for Diogo Jota and Curtis Jones, they are getting closer, but no chance for this game. Thiago, Kevin Callagher, Ibrahima Kanate, Joel Matip, Calvin Ramsey, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Kai Gordon are all unavailable due to injury, while Darwin Nunez is, of course, suspended. Naby Keita's news, the last couple of days have seen Naby Keita's name linked with exit rumors, with reports claiming he was, unhappy with his situation, at Anfield. But from Clark's view, there is, absolutely nothing, wrong on that front and that Keita looks, really good, in training. He is, not a player who is overly happy when he is not playing, but it should not be so, the manager admitted. There is still time for rumblings to turn into something more but for now, Keita could well be preparing to make his first start of the season at Old Trafford. Nunez red card talks, Nunez seeing red on Monday night was a blow for the player and for Liverpool amid a long list of injuries, but after having a talk about the incident it is time to learn and move on. The manager does not want to see Nunez walk through the building with his head down after being very disappointed with himself that it happened. But while not being an expert in these scenarios, as they rarely, if ever, happen under his management, Klopp was eager to discuss that Nunez can expect similar treatment in the games to come. A cheeky pop from the boss. We all love a good cheeky dig from Klopp and ex-player Gabby Agben Lahore was his target on this occasion having listened to his criticism of Man United during their 4-0 defeat at Brentford. For Klopp, it was amusing that a player who he does not remember being a mentality monster on the pitch during Aston Villa's 6-0 defeat to Liverpool in 2016 had so much to say. I watched the first half here, at Kirby, and I drove home and coincidentally listened to TalkSport and Gabby Agben Lahore, he lost against us 6-0 in my first year. I couldn't remember him as a mentality monster on the pitch, but what he said about United in that show, I was close to calling in. I was close to calling in and telling him you forgot completely you've been a player. It was unbelievable. Klopp wants his team to work on performance. It's been a topsy-turvy start to the season for Liverpool with their three games against Man City, Fulham and Crystal Palace all offering some different, for good and bad. For Klopp, he wants to see performances he can build from. At the start of the season you want to have results, I don't want to say first and foremost, but they help a lot. But you need performances to work with. We now have a lot of good and a few not so good, now we go from here. A big game awaits.